Hello, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're still playing some Rich Wood. I'm actually having kind of fun playing this game. It's a nice little, again, it's a definitely nice change of pace of games to play. <clears throat> so here we are playing it. Uh, but last time, uh, I guess before we, uh, we continue, uh, if you like, the, if you do like the video, hit the like button. And if you're new around, hit the subscribe button. That'd be kind of wicked. But uh, last time we were done with trying to get the snakes thing, which now we need the shards. Um, uh, last episode, uh, when I went back to the well, I don't know if I was, uh, if I was showing you guys that. I for I didn't realize there was I I forgot there was a thingy in the well to get a shard, so I could have started that progress. But I didn't, cause I'm stupid. <clears throat> and again, don't expect me to do exact same voices, because I am just very bad with voices. And two, I just have a very bad memory of figuring out. Uh, um, there we go. Just again, I'm just really doing that for slime, cause apparently we're gonna need need a lot of it. We're gonna need a lot of it to make the smoke. Well, I bet you it's this thing. You hike up the hem of your skirt in ankle deep well water, duck down to inspect a small damp cave. <clears throat> a pale shape quickly retreats further into the dark space. You hear the labor breathe of a pathetic thing, frightened and alone. Hello there, don't worry, I won't hurt you. Bloodshot eyes blink nervously up to you. The creature gazes longingly at the light of the world above while stimulation cowering from it. Poor dear, what are you doing down here in this hole? I bet you're hungry, aren't you? Two thin, malnourished arms twist out from the crevice. One hand tightly crutches a shut glass, while the other hand reaches, begging for food. Roast beef. Okay. So how do I make this beef a roast? Okay, so this is gonna be the one. Spare uh, dogs and swamp. And that's just that. Okay, so I need to go. Okay. Do, 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 do. I did not mean to do that. I'm gonna be real. It's so basically you have to go back to the swamp. Okay. Like, why couldn't you just take any type of meat? You know, it's food. Oh, wait. This is what I need. Never that is. Never mind. Don't have to go back to the swamp. Okay. <clears throat> right there, I still need you to go up here. Alright, gotta. I'll take that and bada boom bada boom looks like we got roast beast <laughs> hey I need more meat for later on. Oh, right, Lord and Lord. I bet you I'm gonna need that later too. See, thinking ahead. I hope you guys could see me. I would, uh, doing the meme where the dude's like pointing to his head. Let's see, it's not a frog. I don't care for it. That's just because. 
gonna need it for other stuff and I just too thin yes yes here's the roast beef it just scra snatches it up the meat so quickly that you nearly lose a finger it scurries back into its little crevice and you hear a sound of a smudging from within hell yeah Didn't, can I still I guess it's still like a later thing yeah Okay, now to the swamp. Alright, any, any... More frogs. Cause that just... Yeah, it just becomes super helpful. There. Cause the more I get now, the better. Uh. And the better I get, the better I get. Um, but yeah, okay. Do, do, do. Uh, okay, I was like, why is that bush glowing? Okay. So we're just, we're just doing the snake, uh, mission. Just because we can. I'm doing it just to be safe that a frog could pop out of those. Alright, those uh, forest herbs are very nice. Okay, now I gotta like talk to people around here because uh, I'm not trying to like get super sidetracked, dude. So. Look who's saying my eyes have gone milky. Please, get a little close, sister. I don't believe we met before. Why Why do you call me sister? I don't need sight to see someone who has also signed a dark card contract. The, the woman looks finally through you, though you could sense her focus. Contract? So you had a dealing with a dental goat too? What sort of pack did you, did he rope you into? Oh, you know how it is. I was young. And he weren't no goat when I knew him. We used to dance naked under the blood moon and raise the dead to frighten dull country folk. Ah, it's ancient history now. Old age comes for us all, and eventually you got to hang up the sacrificial dagger and settle down into the comforts of retirement. I know the feeling. I miss my cozy chair, the little fireplace. It seems like a fun spot you got here. Well, it's not all poises and upper nickel. She clutches worriedly as the moth eaten blanket in her lap what rattle your bones maybe I can help it's my dear old husband handsome chap although a bit clumsy he had tumble trying to weed out some some swamp tramps out from the yard awful things like to snap at your toes when you're not looking anyway he twisted his ankle pretty bad and went into the sick house to have it looked at but it's been a few but well, that was a few days ago. He should have been back by now. And all these leg and these legs haven't worked right in decades, so I I can't even go check up on him. I've been so worried. I thought about making another contract. Don't you don't you dare. You just wait here. I'll f I'll find him and see what the bother is. Thank you, sister. The sick house is just down the road to the west. Be careful of the critters along the way. I gotta taste her blood. <laughs> the leech. If I'm not, I'm not here for the leech. I'm. Yeah. Uh, let me just do the wall. Drake. All right, cool. Um, well, I do have bay. Uh, hey. All 
Oh well. Uh, froggies. What's that? Raising body. Hold up. I will stay with you in a second. I want to capture these froggies. Can't, can't, can't interact with the raising body. Got it. Got it, champ. Got it. And again, I'm just trying to figure out. Oh, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Moss growing on the <clears throat> massive fallen trunk seems to recoil all at your touch, revealing sh strange etchings on the bark below. Slowly, a spark of swirling energy swept forth from the waterlogged wood till the ether door wheel opens before you. Sure, we'll go here. We'll go here real quick. Let's we'll see what's up with this. Oh. Okay, so each portal. Okay, that's cool. So all of them are technically connected, but not connected. Okay, look, I'm just trying to find. Uh... The thingy I need. Uh... Whoa, what the fuck is that? Who is this new? Hey. Yeah. I am Newt. I am Newt. That's not gonna troll. Alrighty, give me one second. Uh, cross the bridge, please. Be so kind. On the shrine. Okay, so I need. Uh, what the fuck are these guys weak to? Oh, these are just dancing totems. <clears throat> these animated wooden effigies seem engaged in a religious dance. They march and stuff patterns around them, like reflective piece of glass embedded onto the soft ground. You lean in for a better look, just long enough to make. Out the shards mirror surface, reflecting the ghostly image of the moon. You think to reach it and grab it, but swinging limbs of dancing totems are too dense and quick. Out of my way, you overgrown twigs. Maybe I can get them to shift their attention on another glittering babble. Moonlight globe. So I need. Then that's from the swamp, and I can craft that. And I need a jar from Lant. And I can craft that. So I just gotta find Mean Drive, which. I would imagine it wouldn't be that hard to find one nearby, but I just don't know. Uh. 
so I wonder if it's this snag vine. We're about to find out. Yeah, fuck it up. Okay, so it is those. Okay, okay, cool. But I should be able to make that. Thank you for me for being a genius, as always. A certified genius is what I do. Maybe I can get them to shift their attention to some other glittery blabble. You cast a golden globe into the ritual circle, watch the wooden effigies suddenly lose coordination, knock over the wooden limbs into each other. You can take the opportunity to slip it between their tall flames and snatch the mere shard before the frenzy dance began anew. Whatever the mosquito am, so I'm gonna make a bag. Come on, mosquito or uh, dragonfly, where the flip you are. Yeah. Cause you never know when you need that stuff. So I guess I should do that. Start cutting some of that. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. Hey, we've made him. Have you found any of the mirror shirts? I wonder where they could be. <laughs> you generally hand over the broken glass shards to the maiden. She carefully not to cut herself on the razor sharp edges as she sorts them into the mirror fame. The pieces click into the perfectly and surface the mirror ripples like the water on the lake. The ripples calm setting into the form of a mirror. She gazes into the mirror with awe. Look, it's it's good as new. Oh, the maiden's reflection ripples and morphs into the visage of the handsome young man. M m my love, it's is that you? Overcome with joy, a fresh stream of tears roll down her cheeks. I, I can't believe my eyes. I don't understand what happened. Where are you? I'm in prison inside my own head. It's horrible here. You have to get me out. You went to the snake, didn't you? Why would you do something so stupid? Er, listen, my love. I have a confession to make. I'm not actually that good of a musician. What are you talking about? You were so beautiful upon your balcony. A bum like me would never get your attention. So, I, uh... I asked the snake to help me out a little. I thought I could protect myself from the snake hypnotic gaze with the magic mirror, but then you went and broke the darn thing. I didn't break it, it slipped out of my hand. Wait, don't, don't put this on me. How could you be so irresponsible? One problem at a time, children. We fixed the mirror so it should be able to break the snake's spell now. Y yes. Oh, you have no idea how unbearable it's been stuck in here. There's nothing but awful poetry and song lyric that don't even rhyme. Please, Granny, take the mirror. I can hardly stand look at this buffoon any longer. Babe, wait. The one you want, okay? She shouldn't be crying anymore, right? Right. She lied. <laughs> Reflect. Suddenly a dread grips of the snake as you swing the shimmery mirror to meet his eyes. The mind-altering patterns of his gaze are reflected back at him. Slowly but steadily, the snake leans closer and closer to the surface of the mirror. He forked tongue flickers against the glass and disappears beyond it. It's so beautiful. It, like a link of growth being pulled through an island, the snake rushes forward 
and vanish into its own reflection. The mirror jolts a book, saw your hand clattering on the ground. You scoop down carefully not to look too deeply. Hidden in the reflection of the mirror surface, you can faintly make out your tiny wrinkling shape trapped just beyond the veil of this world. The soul of the snake. Yeah, boy. Snake quest completed. Let's go. to interact with them one last time. Oh. Looks like the two of them are working things out. Nice. Okay, time to find the bear. I'm pretty sure I went northeast and said west. Because I just know directions on top of my head. Because I'm pretty sure from follow the road northwest I'm pretty sure it's up this way yes yeah, see off oh. <laughs> let me get that started and whatnot I just leave a mini morsel around like that wow so irresponsible of me so irresponsible Let's like short path. Is that where I needed to go though? That is. Oh, there's a battle going on. Hey, what do you think you're going? Yeah, no one but our soldiers are allowed inside the Lakeshore camp. Get out of my way. I have urgent news for you of, of your quartermaster. I need to speak to you with your sergeant. <laughs> urgent. Only one that's urgent is the line for the lantern or the cap hasn't had his drink. That's right. Captain Bear is in the right foul mood. You can't come in unless you want a good thrashing. The guard almost has a shout over the clattering ding uh, from inside the camp. You heard him. It's dangerous in there. You wouldn't have heart, the heart to let a frail old granny like you near the be that beast. One guard turns the other shrug. Yeah, but who are we to say what's good for her health? Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. We might be convinced to look the other way if uh, fairly consolidated. Right, you're fairly consolidated. Of course, we're streak we're sticking our necks out after all. You carefully press three heavy gold palms in the There, I expect you two to can divide them evenly amongst yourselves. Right, one for you and two for me. Wait, you mean two for me and one for you? I'm the one who does all the real guarding around here. You stole me for that game of dice you lost. You cheated! Give me them coins. Two guards fall to fist the custom roll into the bushes in the can. Blood. As you cautiously approach the bear, drains less of his enormous tank geared and smashes against the head of a nearby soldier, knocking the helpless man to the ground. And then I wallop them just like that. So next time I catch any of you cowards turning tail, I'll scare you like a fish and leave your guts on the gulls. Suddenly noticing his drink is, has gone dry, the bear bellows into the sky. More mead, you yellow belly worms. More drink, bring me a delicious honey mead. Soldiers are taking cover nearby, seeing just never glances at each other, none wanting to confront the bear, there is no more honey mead. The bear wipes a strand of drool from his shaggy lips and bear eyes slowly form focuses on you. 
and and mocking smirk spits his face as waves you over with the great spike mace. Say, say no, that funny looking helmet soldier. I tell you the time I crushed that bunker head barbarians of the Western mountains. You, you decided now is a good time to leave the bear to his ramblings rather than make yourself an unfortunate prop in his war stories. Bear kicks in an empty tankard as you retreat back into the camp. That's right. Go get me more mead, you good-for-nothing schlaggard. Uh, are you a sergeant? <laughs> the frantic-looking officer shouts Harry's orders and whoever listens, but most of the camp soldiers are busy cowering in the <clears throat> Man the gates! You over there, secure the perimeter! We just need to hold out a little longer! Sir, we're running out to men. What? Where's that damn shipment of honey? You step over the unconscious, unconscious footman to address the men in charge. I might be able to answer that question. Who, who the, who lets this old bat into our, our camp? I found your quartermaster. He's having a bit of cart trouble on the road. I'm afraid your shipment isn't going to get here anytime soon. What? Oh, curse my rusty britches. Without the honey and other supplies, we can't make the honey mead. The bear is going to fly in the whole camp, and when he finds out, the camp looks half fine already. The f what? What's all the ruckus about? Well, well, the bear is the greatest warrior there ever was, which is grand and and all when we're fighting the enemy. But once we set up camp, he likes to use us poor subs as a playthings to reenact his conquest. And then the only thing the bear loves as much as fighting is drinking. Guzzling up so much honey mead, we'll have to brew it right here in the camp just to keep up. He points to the squat looking device tucked in tents pro uh, without that shipment of ingredients I don't see how we can ever calm the bear down. He'll smash us all to pace before his sun sets. Let me take a look at, at this brewery of yours. If the bear is so in love with brawling and boozing, then perhaps it's about time we he receives a dose of his own medicine. Yeah. Uh, oh. You inspect the brass contract, the tank here, a hopper there, and a better smell of alcohol is infused into the well-worn metal. Despite needlessly complicated dials and tubing, at the end of the day, the burly is just a fancy cauldron. This seems simple enough. I should be able to consort just the potion for your troubles. The rattle shutter shrugs at us to soldiers. Sure, if you think it will help, but you need to fill the darn thing first. Our supplies are a mess, so you just have to figure it out on your own. Get up in the burning and expect a... That's actually not that bad. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. <sighs> I wish it tells me, um... Okay. Just gonna go catch me some fireflies real quick. Which were in two locations. I think close to the location over here. If my poor little mind remembers, right? It's like, right, yeah, 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 look at that. Um. Just one center box. 
What was the other ingredient? Fuck, I should have looked um, again. Because uh, the journal doesn't tell me right. There we go. Oh well, water. Got the twigs, got the guy. Okay. Let's take one wild water. Okay. Easy peasy and lemon. I was like, man, I don't remember how much you need. I'm glad I did this. this isn't like super crazy I feel like there might be a point where I'll just like off uh, I'm not recording just collect just a bunch of ingredients maybe I don't know if I will or not but I'm it might just be uh, just to make it easier so I'm not like uh, 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 running around too much Because I know I'm gonna need more things after this. Because this is just for the fuel. The sauce of cool water into the burly main tank. Now, not the best base for a potion burly, but you have to preserve the honey mead flavor. Expect the complicated innards. You snapped a. Um, Comper of the burly shouldn't feel enough for the job. Uh, well, with the heat center box, you set the stove chamber of the burly alight. It will bring the tank to a royal boil. With the hiss of a steam and the sound of boiling water, the rattling burly is ready for the next step to end the process. Of course, I'll need honey for the mead. The quartermaster is coming back with the. Then I will have a. Then I'll need a proper magical binder of to and a token of the bear to seal the spell. Something in this camp ought to do the trick. Uh, I mean, it's basically honey. Torn teddy bear is what I. Okay. Forest. Dryad floor. Oh, is that from the tree? So I might need more. Okay, so where's this, uh... Bear at? Teddy bear, because he said around this camp, right? Obviously, it's just, oh, it's right here. This is the, okay. I'm so privileged to drink it's treasure. You smart as one the precious objects might contain enough magical essence to use as a token of the bear. Yeah. Okay. The giant fur lined up bed for a hand pulls the door flaps shut. The sergeant gives you a disapproving as he glares as he ushers you away. Hey, you can't go in there. This is the bear's personal tent. You know the kind of hell the, that would break loose if he finds out someone's been snooping? Don't worry, I'll be careful. Seems like your men are keeping him distracted anyway. Glances at the bear as he tosses a side of soldier like a sack of potatoes. No way, no how. If you think this is a bad, just wait until he finds out there's no more honey mead. I'm afraid of that stomping brute. Why don't you just slip away into the night? Surely it would prolong your life a little. Abandoned all my friends. Our shoulders gotta stick together. It's our only chance of a, if there were only some way to stand up to the bear. 
seems across the center of my notice the potions and bubbles hanging about your belt. Say, you're good with magical doodads. And what's it? Right? What if you made some sort of protective charm or talisman? Then I could maybe have a chance against that monster without getting my head shoved in. If I make you a protective talisman, would you let me into this tent? I suppose I wouldn't have much worry if I did. God. So how would I make a freaking... Of course it's something I have. Okay, what's this? Alright, cool. Let's make that. Was it that? Was the paces I need? Yes, the pace. Jar of milk in the field. Okay. Oh, I think we're going to the fields anyway for the honey, right? So that's that's fine. Kind of well, kind of glad I did that. Um. So. Kind of glad I did that. But he didn't say the whole shipment got ruined, right? So why can't I just take the honey, like some of the shit that's been saved? Like, hey, I need this now. Your men are gonna be in dire need now, kind of thing. All right, what's he get to say? All the honey is ruined. Even though it's not. Alright, this dude's probably gonna tell me how to do it. <laughs> he de ho! I'm afraid we're closed for the season. Closed, but I need some of your honey right now. Sorry, our supply was just cleaned up just a little while ago. Funny little man with the card, you just missed him. Yes, I've met him. He's the card master for the bear, and but he had a little accident on the road. I need to collect some more honey for the Lakeshore camp. The the bear? Well, that explains to why the car must have purchased so dang much. I heard that lumbering bully would steal the nectar from the larva if it suited him. Suit him. Our poor beasts have already worked themselves half to death for that order, and now they don't have any honey left. I wish I could do something for you, but that the only honey left in the entire Esprit is her Majesty's personal serve, uh, preserve. Emergency. Why, well, my sweet spring flower, my jewel, my crown, the golden son of my. Yes, yes, go on, get on with it. My beloved queen, she's a lovely as she is wise and re resides over the flower kingdom. Still, a shrill voice pierces the mellow and sends a chill down your spine. Slave, where is my dinner? I order you to bring me the finest sunflowers. Right, right away, my love. And make it pretty this time. I don't want another one of your dandelion banquets like some common wasp. Y y y yes, my sweet. Hmm. I think I better have odds with this queen myself. Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's just and The regal insect looks down her curl nose and scornful. That fool beekeeper is supposed to stop the rabble from trampling my delicate garden. Good. Hope, hope, oh, help is so, good help is so hard to find, isn't it? <laughs> And I suppose you came to lend a hand. No, I don't think so. What do you want, little beetle? You you seem like a very busy woman, so I, I won't waste your time. I need honey, your best honey. She tilts her long neck back and lets out a buzzing laugh. <laughs> do you think I could simply give my careful cultivated riches just to any commoner? Do you have any idea how much time and energy is spent managing this? Colony. Everyone always wants something, but no one ever wants to work for it. Russell uh, petals beekeeper come running over, holding a 
My darling sweetheart, I offer you the finest meadow flowers. I hope you find these to your likings. This? Is this? Is this miracle? You wax brained fool. You know I despise the stuff. How many times must I repeat myself? Get out of myself. All of you, my love. I have wronged you. Let me try again. You follow the beekeeper a short distance away while he brush loses himself picking more flower. You you she seems like a foul in a foul mood. Does she always treat you like this? Well, yes, but really usually my, it's my own fault. Sometimes she really gets it. Gets her venom up. A little bit of smoke and soothing herbs calms her right down. Smoke, you say. I'm sure I can come up with something to even out her mood. Now I gotta, gotta smoke this bitch. Okay, uh. Uh, I need that and that. I think I can craft that. Yeah. Look at that, I did it. You sneak. Do you honestly believe that little puff of a chew smoking? The queen fans herself whitely as the world begins to push and pull all around her. Wow, does anyone else feel a little hot? Anyways, I was saying you just can't just sparkling sun bears down the queen like a warm sun embrace my look at all those beautiful colors have they always been so bright the queen bee stretches her arms across the sea of flowers brushing and tips and briefly she arches her limbs through the migrate of colors swirling around about her head it's gorgeous oh oh what a delicious smell Cracking into the wax, waxing walls of her head, the queen herself pull, pulls out a golden honeycomb. She proceeds the messy stuff of the honey into her face. Mmm, delectable. Oh, so good. You simply have to try some, my dear. I never tasted anything so delicious in my life. She offers you a sticky handful to you. Why, thank you, my queen. So, okay, I got the honey. I just need milk. Where the fuck do I get milk from? I I, I know from cows, but I don't think it's just. I think it's just more from that. Jar of milk. Oh, I might need a jar and find a something it's probably what it is but okay <laughs> that's all legs for now okay I just want up oh, there's the cow do I need a yes get me my jury buddy there we go we got some of that Oh, is this a... Uh... I'm surprised I ran out of that stuff. Okay, cool. Hold on, I can get that stuff on the way back. And now we can do this and toss this nice little. back to the to the camp to the camp to the camp to the camp we go to the camp to the camp to the camp we go do, 
do 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 up we go to the adventure we go look at that i i, I probably it's probably like a longer episode i don't know and then i hey, give him this but mickey Yeah, this helps shoot you from harm for a time. He grins nervously and puts the tremor around his neck, then claps himself in the face with the sun fist. Wow, you weren't kidding, huh? I thought that was n nowhere near the kind of punishment the bear can dish out. I better find some more stuff to test out with it. My piece of my mind. Oh, we're actually going inside, inside. Uh, okay, well, guess that's it. Cool. Bear has a nice little tent, though. Nice little, little area to... And honey. You squeeze the honeycomb with your bare hands. Stick rich honey slowly oozes into the burly tank. Too sweet for your taste, but this portion uh, potion's not for you. The birthing base in the burly sands and ingredients. And this. You lay your you ladle out a good portion of the withering tar like substance into the burly. To be safe, you add a little more just for texture. And now we add the torn teddy bear. You, you pause before drop, uh, dropping a tattered plaything into the burly. A glance of, of its button eye reminds you of something, but you thought soon evaporates from your mind. And you overturn the palm and stuff bear splashes down into the concussion. It floats sadly for a moment before becoming a waterlog, disappearing underneath under the surface. With the addition of final ingredient, the brew brewing equipment is sealed and set to work. Steam hisses from the rivets and small metal, metal belly clanks and rattles. Oh fuck. Excellent. Oh. You, you push an empty wooden keg under the corruptions, begin crank to release the valve, the burly strains under an <clears throat> may not be the finest honey meat around, but hopefully it's the great raging glue won't stop to notice the difference. All right, guys, I'm gonna risk my life here. Not before I do this. Okay. Uh, Captain, I brought you more honey mead. The bear swipes the tanker with the massive paw tosses and the contents into a slimy maw without hesitation. He looks his child severing particular flavor with a sudden jerk. The bear downs on you with suspicion. Say, this. Say, this tastes kind of funny. What did you do, soldier? It's a uh, new recipe. I thought you might enjoy something with a little more sting in it. Oh, you know I hate new things. I teach you to mess with my favorite brew, you hayseed. The bear is upon with the frightening speed. He races a huge mace in his paw, skyward and brace for impact. With the equal message of speed, the sergeant leaps between the cr crashing mace in ye in your head. You peer through the fingers as a great cling resounds through the camp. The the, bo the bear roars fiercely his, as his blow is magical repel from the sergeant's talisman. The mace goes spinning out of his paw and falls into the lake with a great splash. He gapes dumbfounded as the sergeant stands before him completely unharmed. Ha! Huh. I'll teach you to pick on us, you big oof. That has been a long time coming. The sergeant wags his finger at the bear. Who do you think you are, huh? You think you could be so big and tough with your fancy feather hat and your big honking club? Well, look at you now. 
The camp soldiers gather to witness the stun on Mystaculous. The bear seems to shrink in the face of Sergeant's onslaught. If it was up to me, you'd be dishonorably discharged for disordering Conde. You're a disgrace to the uniform, and you're no captain of mine. With fear welling up in his eyes, the bear shrinks and shrinks until he is reduced to the size of a small car. And another thing, I... Uh, uh, what's happening? In place of the bear's drunken glimpses, a stitched smile, dull grin, two button eyes are stared back of disapproving faces surrounding the little plush toy. Sergeant takes a step back to reveal the small shape of a stuffed teddy bear where the brute once stood. Your transformation transformative potion has finally done its work. Gee, I guess I overdid it, huh? It scratches his head and be fun of it, but seems genuinely relieved. Hey Surge, I guess that means you're in charge now, right? Oh, yeah, I guess it does. Well, where are you all sitting here? The, like, the camp's a mess. Let's get to work. You pick up the dimwitted doll and brushes some sand off its fur as you expect to further and fur within the glassy stuff bottom of your brain make out a tiny crimson flame the trap soul of the bear this ought to be what the old goat's after i hope he's happy look at that we cleaned two we cleaned the snake and now the bear all right well this is where this episode's gonna end guys i appreciate you i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i hope i'll see you guys later